And the charter is a little more, a little, there's not as much flexibility because um, they actually have, they're, they're a public school, right? So they actually want to see um, work being done and where your child is at. So they might ask for different samples and usually there's four subjects. So they're gonna be requesting those samples from language arts, math, social studies and science. And the EF or ES or TOR or whatever the teachers named at that charter is gonna be collecting your samples and looking at the grade level standards and kind of marking off what has, what has been done and what's being shown. And on top of that, you're also creating like a monthly list of activities. It might be weekly for some charters, but you're creating a list of what you've been learning. And they're also matching that up to grade level standards. So they're, they're a little bit more strict as far as you're still having to, even though you're homeschooling, you're really still under the public school and fulfilling the requirements that they need.